Next, I want to talk about a feat that some may have concluded must be a mathematical impossibility. That's right, we're bringing Calculator to iPad. Yay! By leveraging what makes iPad so unique, it makes solving math easier than ever. It starts with the calculator that you know from iPhone updated to take advantage of the larger iPad display, along with some new tricks like history and unit conversions. But the real magic of calculator on iPad is unlocked when you use it with your Apple Pencil, an iPad superpower. Apple Pencil has changed the way you can take notes, draw, and even design with iPad. And now it's changing the way you do math with a feature we call Math Notes. Let's see it in action with Jenny. I'm so excited to show you the new Math Notes experience. I get to it by just tapping the new calculator button right here. And with my Apple Pencil, I'll just start writing out expressions like I would on a piece of paper. As soon as I write an equal sign, calculator immediately solves it for me and even shows me the results in handwriting like my own. When I make a change, the results update live. And I can go beyond basic math with all of the same functions from the scientific calculator. I can save my math notes and come back to them later if I'm working on different things. Like here, where I'm working on a budget for my team's upcoming table tennis tournament. Since I'm in math notes, I can sum these costs quickly by just drawing a line underneath them. It's so natural. Math notes are also really powerful when it comes to more complex math. Here, I have a physics problem my teammate and I are working on. We're calculating the maximum height of a table tennis ball when I hit it with different speeds and angles. Math notes supports variables, so I've declared a few here and there's an expression below which uses these variables to help me calculate the height. What's powerful about variables is that if I change one, like the velocity of my shot, it will change the related results too. And if I want to see how this speed impacts the height visually, I can. I'll just put y equals in front of this equation. And now when I tap the equal sign, I have an option to create a graph. And if I'm curious how the height will be impacted by the angle of my shot, I can hover my pencil over the angle and adjust it to see how it affects my graph in real time. It's an easy way to explore equations in math. And that's just a quick look at math notes and calculator. Back to you, Craig. Math notes are perfect for working through a problem set or just tackling the math we run into day to day. And this all works in notes too.